Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another 10 minute tips with Connor Rhodes from SlumSociety.co.uk. And today we are talking about calories, but with a question mark on the end. So like with upward intonation like this, calories? Because today we're asking the question, and I'm mostly aiming this conversation at ladies, of how many calories should you be eating or consuming? And we're talking about specifically weight loss, fat loss, weight management, this kind of business. What should you be doing if you have weight loss or weight management goals? Here on the board, I've got some options for what may or may not be correct, and we're going to go through and we're going to decide which one of these is the best, and then I'm going to help you, and this is going to be really, really, really important today for you to understand, because this is not going to be what you expect, okay? So when we're talking about weight loss for ladies, should you be aiming for 1,200? This is a social meme, like a social unwritten construct or understanding these days, isn't it? That ladies should going for 1,200 calories per day. Is this a good idea? Very good question. Apps also perpetrate this, don't they? Like MyFitnessPal, you download it, you put in your information, you think it actually calculates a good calorie intake for you based on what information you put in, but you'd be wrong. It just mostly gives everybody 1,200 calories per day and pretends this is a good idea. So is this what we should be aiming for? 1,400 calories per day. A lady told me literally this week that before she joined my program, she downloaded the app NutraCheck and it gave her 1,400 calories per day. Ooh, please, sir, can I have some more? A little bit more generous, isn't it? Is this the correct idea? What about 2,000? What about 2,000? Um, this is the amount that you might have seen on the side of your cereal box. <laughs> or if you read nutritional information, it says ladies should consume around 2,000 calories per day. Doesn't it? If this is correct, well, I will say a tip top tip. This is just for a little bit of perspective to get started. If you eat around 2,000 calories per day as a lady and you don't exercise, you'll end up around 13 stone. Now, you might think that's good. You might think that's not good. You might think, well, that's too much. All right, well, then it's not for you. But some people don't even have to eat these low calorie numbers. You know, I have a lot of ladies. They come to work with me because their goal is to be around 12 or 13 stone. They'd love it. That's what they're aiming for. Then you only need to eat around 2,000 calories per day. You don't even need to be hitting these low, low levels. <clears throat> If you don't want to, should you be aiming for a 500 calorie deficit? Is this a good idea? You've heard this, I'm sure. This is a personal trainer special. Put you on a 500 calorie deficit. They, ask, they act like this is a smart and clever thing to do. Is this correct? What about BLCDs? S diets, as I call them. Soup, shake and supplement diets. That's not really what it is. It's very low calorie diets. 500 calorie, 800 calorie a day diets. Something like this. Should you be cutting your calories down super low? VLCD, VLCD diets. Should you be lowering your carbs? Is it not about calories? Is it nothing to do with calories? Is it about lowering your carbs? Because it's all about insulin levels. I'm taking the piss. <laughs> with that one, it's got, that is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's, not, it's not low carbs. <laughs> Honestly, I was just... I'm sorry, that's just a joke for me. It's obviously not the carbs, okay, people. It's, it is about the calories, but which one of these should we be aiming for? Well, let me enlighten you because every single one of these is wrong. <clears throat> and you might think, what? But they'd work. I've done a VLCD before and I've lost weight. Or you might think 1,400, that'd work. Or a 500 deficit, that I understand. That'd lose me one pound per week if you did a 500 calorie deficit per day. Theoretically, yes. In practicality, my dear, no. All of those are a bad idea. Okay, I've said the wrong thing. I'll rephrase, they're not a bad idea. Some of them are good ideas and they could be good ideas for you. It could work, but you, you could convince me that some of those are a good idea. You could. You could not convince me that they're the best idea because it's not. Because they're, they're all, they've all got the same failing and problem. You could not convince me that any of those would be the best idea to aim for. Not really. The reason is this. They all have the same failing, all those that I wrote on the board there. It's that they are too specific. I understand as a coach and as somebody who understands food and... <clears throat> I understand how difficult it is to work with calorie intakes and calorie counting and calorie management, okay? No matter what calorie intake, specifically, you must eat this many, whether it's low, 1,200, 400 VLCD, whether it's medium, let's say 15, 18, 2,000, whether it's high, 2,300, 2,500, you know, something like this. Doesn't matter what specific intake I tell you to go for, you will fail and it will not be your fault. It will be my fault for setting you stupid, unrealistic goals. If you understand calories, you'll understand that every different food has different calories, okay? Even like two bananas don't have the same calories. And you'll also, if you've ever tried it, understand how difficult it is to actually calorie count and to actually figure out how many calories ish, even that's only an estimation, are in the foods you're actually eating. And you eat different foods every day and a lot of the foods that we eat in the modern world, we don't know what the calories they are. Like restaurants and takeaways and cafes and if other people cook for you, right? So no matter what number I give you, you are not going to be able to Tetris all of these different foods with all these variables every single day 
and just fit them in ding, and you've just landed it on the perfect exact calorie number. It's not going to happen. You're going to fail that goal. It will be my fault. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a low calorie goal, a medium one, anything, whether it's working for weight loss or not. You'll do it some days. You'll hit it. You will. Some days you'll fail though and you'll feel frustrated and you'll feel like it's you and your willpower and oh I can't do it once again until eventually this just builds and you're just beating yourself up, which is pointless. Beating yourself up burns no calories anyway. And then eventually you'll get frustrated and you'll quit, literally because the goal is too difficult. What you actually need is a, and I'm doing not too bad on time, I've got four and a half minutes left. You don't need any specific calorie intake target, okay? You need a calorie intake Get ready, this is the tip-top tip, range, oh my lord. Imagine a bit of flexibility and a bit of variety and a bit of realism in with your goals. Imagine how that'd go, better. <laughs> That's how it'd go. No specific calorie intake ranges. This is my tip-top tip, listen to me please, take this on board. No specific calorie intake targets. Calorie intake ranges. Ding. Much easier, much more realistic, much more variable. You are a variable person, not a dieting robot. This is what I understand that apparently no other coaches pay attention or take into account. They don't understand that you're a person. You know, some days you have cravings, some days you don't. Okay? Some days you are hungry and some days you are not. Some days you exercise, some days you don't. Some days you walk, some days you don't. Some days you work, some days you don't. Some days you're up early, some days you're not. Are we supposed to take none of this into account? Are we supposed to take none of this into account? And if you've, you've been set 1,200, 1,400 calories per day, something like this, and you're starving to death, but you've got to hit it because your personal trainer or nutritionist said so, so I'm not allowed to eat. Is that, do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that's gonna work out long-term? Some days you're not hungry. Are you supposed to eat more? Just because, cause, oh, because you haven't eaten enough, I need to eat more because calorie intake's it. Do you think that's a good idea? Is it? Some days you have cravings. Are you supposed to ignore these until they explode and then you, until you binge again? Or do you think we could have a bit of a range and a flexibility and fit some of these cravings and differing hunger levels and when you exercise and when you don't and have a differing amount of food each day and find through this increased success? So I've got three minutes left. I'm going to tell you what your exact calorie intake range should be. Let me just get the old cloth again. Oh, it's not rubbing off so well. It doesn't matter. Let's move forward. It doesn't matter. Your calorie intake range needs to be this. Low to BMR. And this means basal metabolic rate. That means how fast your metabolism is. That means the maximum amount of food not taking exercise into account technically that you can eat without gaining any body fat. So this is your maximum calorie intake really because if you eat more than this, you're going to be putting weight on. That's the opposite of the goal, isn't it? So BMR is your maximum. This is your, sorry, the pen's running out slightly here. Calorie maintenance. So if you eat this amount of food, you pr you'll probably stay about the same weight. Level. That's the max amount of calories we want to go to. Because if you go over the calorie maintenance level, you'll have eaten too many calories and then you'll put weight on and that's not the goal, is it? So you need to know roughly what your maximum calorie intake per day can be. If you want to figure this out, you just need to go on Google, literally, and just type in calorie maintenance calculator. I think literally the first website that pops up is calculator.net and it's a good one, it's fine. Just put your information in, it'll say are you a male, female, height, weight, activity level. Put in that you do no exercise even if you do. Put light to no activity, just do it. Um, it's a whole different topic of conversation, why? But just do it. Calorie maintenance calculator, that gives you the top amount of calories that you should be eating. You don't wanna be eating more than that again. And what about the low level? Well, if you were my client, I would have a conversation with you, but you can defer to yourself. What do you think's a good low amount for you? Like some of you have tried 1,200 calories per day and you nearly died. Some of you don't think it's that bad. If you don't think it's that bad, all right, plug it in. If you think 1,400 sounds like the lowest you could go reasonably and realistically, 1,500. Let's just say you pick 1,400. 1,400 to BMR, this might turn out to be for you, I don't know, 1,900 or 2,100 calories, something like this. This is your calorie intake range per day. Any less than this, you know, if you don't have to eat super low calories to lose weight, that's not how it works. That's all you have to do to lose weight really fast. Some days you can do that, and some days that's great, some days that's too difficult. You need to be realistic. We need to be, have manageable and achievable goals so that you can actually be successful with your weight management this time. So work out the BMR, this is your top range, and then pick some kind of low number that you feel like works for you, and you can adjust this later if you want to. It's not be all end all, 
goal and then work within a calorie intake range, eating some days a little bit more around this level if you feel like you need it or want it, some days a little bit less if you don't and you want to lose fat faster. Hopefully that makes sense. Thank you so much. I'm running out of time. Connor Rhodes from slumsociety.co.uk. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video or if you understand the topic or if you got anything out of it, leave on comments and questions if you've got them. Go to slumsociety.co.uk to see who we are and how we can help you. Thank you so much. Speak to you and I'll see you again soon.